watching UWC Online! Yeah! UWC Online United Wrestling Coalition where the real tough guys go to fight. Well, if you want to be considered one of the toughest in the sport of professional wrestling, you got to step up to the plate and face Harker Dirge. Whether you strike out or whether you hit a home run is up to me. Remember, guys, you can never be first, but you can always be next. <sighs> UWC Online, Eric Loy up in the show's desk along with Harker Dirge. Harker, good to have you up here. Hey, it's good to be here. Something a little bit different from Harker Dirge. I'm used to being out in the middle of the ring busting heads. Now I'm watching others bust heads. And I'll tell you what, based on personal uh, emotions, I wouldn't mind seeing this Tornado Jones bust uh, Jimmy Carrot's head. Well, we got a tornado warning again in Georgetown as he's made his way to the ring. What we're definitely going to see in this match is two athletes who absolutely do not care about their bodies right now in the ring. Two young people who will go up to the top rope and sacrifice 150% um, of themselves to get 50% off the other guy. Well, they're daredevils. And I, I've been in the ring with Carrot plenty of times, and he is one of the toughest wrestlers, and also one of the sneakiest, as you can see right there, Eric. And definitely developed that over the last couple of years, a sadistic type, more of a uh, almost mentally ill type of streak. It's not even sadistic. It, it, he'll go into the ring with no real plan to win. Just he'll, he'll, he'll be satisfied by just just uh, somehow hurting the opponent or, or demeaning him. Absolutely, and that's what makes him so dangerous. You cannot prepare for Jimmy Carrot, but at the same time, you can't prepare for Tornado Jones 100% comes out with moves like that, right there. And here he comes again, that kick into the corner. And he's gonna get a little more momentum, come back, hit it again in the corner. We know Carrot can take punishment. Fantastic, but he telegraphed it, Eric. Yeah, he did. He this called one. for one more, and Jimmy Carrot's a veteran. He heard him call it, and he cut him off and almost got the three count right there. This is gonna be a little bit of a, a different effort for getting on. Look at this, he's just taking that. Referee's gotta get that out of his hands. Hey, right that's now. flagrant right there. That's right in front of the referee. Yeah, he's got a five, he kicked it out. Well, I mean, that goes back to what you said. He's a little bit insane. He doesn't seem to care about much, including his own body. Absolutely not. I've, we've, we've both seen him do some really bizarre things. Oh. On purpose, he's done some bizarre things. Elbow drop, oh, well, that's not going to get him. He doesn't have both shoulders down and he can just roll himself out. You can see Joey O'Reilly still there at the ringside. That's probably a good idea to have a couple extra eyes when Jimmy Carrot's in the ring. Well, it is. You never know what Carrot's going to do, but it's also good for moral support. I mean, these two men, Tornado Jones and Joey O'Reilly, are the tag team champions. Mm -hmm. Of course, right now it's uh, Tornado in one on one action. Up in that corner, Garrett. But again, not really a punishment move, just more of a trying to get in his head. Garrett's been pretty good at that lately. Look at this. Oh. Right off. Catches him across. Cover one, two, nope. He thought he had the kid where he wanted him, but that arrogance factor played against Jimmy Carrot. Yep. Yeah, Here's Garrett. that speed you talked about. Yeah. One of those rare times that Carrot's going to be outsped in a match. Oh, straight down. And a quick cover. One. I don't think Tornado had the weight to hold him down there. That's where his, he's a small competitor and that's where that uh, works to his disadvantage. He's got to catch somebody off guard more than anything else in a one-on-one -on -one move. And that's straight down, a vicious move. And this is going to be kind of an instance where and, and he pulled himself up. He wasn't even going to try for the pin. Arrogance, arrogance. That's the thing about Jimmy Carrot. He and I have butted heads time and time again because 
a great athlete, but I just don't care, and a lot of guys don't care, and the fans don't care for his arrogance. Nope. And Bulldog coming out. Nope. Just a side headlock. He's taunting Joey O'Reilly out there. He's saying, look at your tag team championship partner. Well, we've, seen Tornado, we've seen Jones take a lot of punishments. Big kick. Nobody there. say I'm displeased, but that has to be qualified as an upset here in the UWC. Well, absolutely. Uh, Tornado Jones hasn't made that much of a mark as a, as a solo wrestler, but to get a pinfall win over a former UWC champion, and that was clean out of nowhere. Wow. He was on the, the short end of the stick there for a while. You see the replay here in the final move. And you see him coming, and it's that count. And the fans, rightly so, ecstatic for Tornado Jones. Tornado Jones gets the win in the first match of this UWC Online. We've got a lot more to come. Stay tuned. UWC Online, new episodes every Monday, youtube.com slash UWC Georgetown. Yes! Dude, yes! you did it! Do you realize what you did out there? Yes, you, I did. you beat Jimmy Carrot. He's a former heavyweight champion, all right? I chose you for a good reason, dude. I knew you could do it. Yes. You did it, dude. How do you feel? I feel great. Oh. Tell you what, man, we're going to take over UWC, all right? We're going to hold on to these for a long time, all right? Nobody's going to beat us for them, all right? We've already basically split up rough cut, all right? Yes. You beat Jimmy Carrot. I beat Jimmy Carrot. Well, I didn't beat him a few weeks ago, but I beat Jimmy Carrot, all right? We got this. Let's go beat up more people. Let's do this. For match two of this episode of UWC Online, Eric Lloyd up here with Harker Burge in the Crow's Nest and uh, looking down at the internet champion, the Warden, going up against the young Justin Myers. He catches a chop to start things off. Well, I heard uh, Justin Myers be announced to the ring as the young blood. Well, I'm certain that the Warden is looking for blood, young, old, or indifferent. Certainly is a, a different type of person. He's taking some treks down some streets that I wouldn't normally go down to. I would like that. Opening people. salvo had no effect on uh, the warden. Look at the viciousness of this dude. Yeah, well done there, grabbing hold of the back and making sure that he is there for his knees. Reversing the ropes, come up, up and over. Lariat takes him down that time, goes for a cover, gets a two. Well, I'll tell you what, he kind of lifted his shoulder there. He didn't kick out with authority, but uh, I don't think it's for lack of being able to, but it, maybe he might have uh, been surprised by that opening salvo. Reverse it back. And tries to take him up and over. Nope, blocked, elbow, another elbow. The third, gonna break out into the ropes. Swing and miss. Another, ropes. another swing and miss. Back off, gets caught that time. Into the reverse, in the uh, release suplex. Eric, I think we know the story now. It's going to be power against speed in this match, obviously, nice. with a little bit of viciousness to boot. Going for that uh, claw-like maneuver he does on occasion. I don't like much that this warden does, but I can always appreciate the viciousness because I don't think a lot of people do it any better than I do, and I'm not going to brag on myself. I'm just telling it the way it is. Well, I can I can vouch for that. I mean, probably triple-digit number of, of matches of yours. I've seen that. I'm an interested spectator. I'm looking at uh, future competitors. I'm looking to see how everybody does because... Uh, Right now, I'm looking at a champion in the warden, and, and Harker Dirge is always looking to get back in that uh, title hunt. Here's a, Look at the way he is. Maneuver here. Mm. He was really bending that kid in half there. He really was, and 
Having seen the warden progress, just the two, and able to roll the shoulder up, not kick out, the warden has progressed as a actual map. And folks may have seen episodes back where the warden kind of morphed into what he is now, he was more of a risk taker and a high flyer. But since um, this particular persona has come out, he's been more of a uh, of a mat face Well, you learn as you go, and he's obviously learned from his mistakes. And right now, he learned not to take too many of those shots to the bread basket because they could be a difference maker. But back warden right with that nice side back breaker. See the warden. The more victories you get, the more confidence you get. The more confidence you get, the better you get in the ring, and that's the way a wrestler, as you say, morphs. As long as it doesn't transmit into overconfidence, like we saw in the last match with Jimmy Yeah. Perry. And a second backbreaker. Boy, wouldn't that be something if we saw a second upset tonight here. Well, that would be massive. I don't, this is not a title shot for Myers, but it would certainly throw him right up into the title picture. Boy, he wouldn't just be in the hunt. He'd be number one contender here on UWC Online. Absolutely. And you can see the warden going after him. The warden goes down... Um, Claiming to be from some dark areas, I know that you are not um, a stranger to those yourself. Yeah, I've stepped out of the shadows and into the light, but the warden still hangs out in those same shadows and sewers and gutters that I used to frequent. And I'll tell you what, based on that history, based on what I know from where I've been, I know he's on a bad path, and you can see right now that young Blood Myers agrees that this is a pretty bad path, and he's on a pretty bad place right now in that corner. Absolutely, and taking his time as the warden right now, going right to those eyes. And really just working him over in the corner. Guys, throw him into the turnbuckle, taking his time. He's taking his time, but we already know this kid's quick. This could be a mistake. Yeah. Yep, it was a mistake. Now Myers is going to try to come back a couple of chops. He's still got some firepower left in him, this Myers. Uh, reversal into the corner, straight oh. in. Follows it up with an elbow, with a shoulder, I should say. Uh -oh. Picks him up. There's that standing fireman's carry. Lance. Eric, I think we saw the last of Myers there. Yep. One, two, and three. There we go. Good night, Mr. Myers. Elementary, my friend. And a, a really a workmanlike performance, I would say, by the Warden. Warden got that win because a lot of people with the eyes on his championship right now. Absolutely. And uh, I think there's a lot of people who would rather the Warden uh, not be focused on them right now. But he's shown inside and outside the ring that he will go to just about every link to try and get rid of this competition. Yeah, he's tough. He showed me a lot here. And Mr. Myers comes up on the short end. Nothing to be ashamed of, though. He's young. He'll learn. Yeah, he'll learn. That's how you do it. You get in the ring and go up against the best. You like cheese. You like being a man. That's why you like machismo. Real cheese for real men. Now in a handy aluminum dismantler. UWC Online is taking over the world of social media. Connect with all of our fans through the official Facebook page, facebook.com slash UWC Georgetown. Watch all the past and current episodes of UWC Online on our official YouTube page. Get late breaking news and notes when you follow at UWC Georgetown on Twitter. And check out the photographs and still shots from our world class photographer on our official Instagram page. UWC Online, a truly interactive experience. Our main event for UWC Online this time around, Travis Weir against Sam Knight. Harper Dirge is with me up here in the crow's nest. And you had your uh, fun with Mr. Weir a little mm -hmm. while back. Who do I know a thing or two about Travis Weir? And I'm still thinking about that match we had not so long ago. It was a barn burner. He lost a couple of things in that match. Not, uh, not just the award, but uh, well, I heard that they had to get some help finding a couple of marbles. That's right. Now... He's got Sam Knight standing in front of him. Sam Knight's a man of faith, and it sounds to me like the fans have a lot of faith in Sam Knight. 
Well, Sam Knight was in that uh, two out of three falls match with Lisa Survey. And that Knight coming back with that right hand from God, as he calls it. And he's setting up again with the crowd. Goes in. Well, you know, the elbow. Travis slapped him in the face, and Travis weird. Oh, oh. Now I know what that feels like. That hurts like a you know what. Yeah, I'm in knee, and he's had trouble with that knee. But Travis is to me, he's just annoying. He's got a way of getting under your skin. But he makes you make mistakes like that if you don't have your head on straight. Yeah. And now Sam Knight's laying on the mat because of it. Yeah, Trav, neither, I do have to say this, over the last couple of years, that Weir has definitely improved as a wrestler, but he has also developed that attitude, as you say, and that can get in your head. Of course, you being a, a veteran, I have not, have not allowed that to get to you too much. No, you learn as you go. Like I said before, you learn as you go. And, you know, Travis has okay. learned, and now Sam Knight's learned. He doesn't want to be on that map with Travis right there. He's fighting back. Yep, we are knocks him right back down. Another punch. It's going to be tough without that pin. He's really had trouble with that knee since several weeks back. The Cecil Wabash Reed. Talent Agency attacked that Oh, knee. Dickie Wabash. Hey, let's talk about Dickie Wabash. Yeah. Travis Weir out here. Dickie conspicuous by his absence. Yeah, I wonder what's going on with that. I haven't seen him in a while. Come on, Travis. He's counting for a reason. God. Where's everybody out over there? Sam Knight making a comeback now. He's had enough. But all the way back down, like you said, it's hard when you don't got those pins, man. Yep. Travis and going after Travis. There's that ankle breaker. That does not only affect the ankle, but the knee and a two. And Travis Weir not getting the pinfall there. Look at him, he's holding on to that rope. Is Travis already getting a little bit tired? Has he not been working out enough? He's hanging on to the ring. Is it, yeah, I don't know whether it's that or just arrogance. Is it rope-a-dope Sam Knight's doing? Is Travis punching himself out or what am I seeing? I'm not sure. That was quite a battle you had over that uh, award on a pole. Yeah. I'll tell you what, old Travis might not be feeling the same as he was. Oh. Yeah, he went for a drop kick and just, just took himself right out. That's uh. not good. This is going to be very tough for Sam Knight. And really, if, if we are being a, being a, and look closer, this is going to be a. He's going for a figure four, I know this. Oh, yep. spinning toe hold this, like the Funks. Yeah, this is a spinning toe hold. He's got it locked in well. Eric and, Loy, tell me about the Amarillo territory. Here, yeah, absolutely. And, and I tell you, he's done it well. He's kept himself away from the hands of Knight. And so Knight can't reach up. One of the uh, one of the counters to this is a small package off that. There's no way Knight can do that on no, this right now. Totally out of position right now. Yep. So, so Weir's got him in the middle of the ring away from the ropes. That's the only way he's going to get out of it. And he throws him right into that post. Shoulder first. But can he get up and take advantage of this? Knight able to make that desperation move. And you can hear the fans are behind him. And nobody knows better than me what those fans can do for you because I love them. And they have brought me to so many victories. Now they're trying to bring Sam Knight to 1-2 against Travis Weir. And can they get him a knee? Because right now he's got one that's going to work. Eric, you'd be surprised if Still enough to take him down. Back with the elbow. He's working off the best he can. And oh, tries to pick him up, and that's not happening. Uh-oh. -uh. Push. Look out. Whoa! Oh, got it! Plants him! Good power move by Sam Knight. Two! And... No. Just, he didn't have that shoulder down. He didn't have... He, he couldn't hook it with that bad wheel. No, he really didn't have any pressure on the shoulders at all. Now, Travis headed for lower ground and safety away from Sam Knight, but... Yeah, Knight's got the straps down. Wait a minute now, I don't know if the camera is getting a good shot of this or not. It's on the opposite side, but Travis is reaching into that boot for something. I did see that, Harker Dirge. I did see that. This hey, I think we got boot. something going on I don't care for one bit. Oh, I, now I see it now. It's hey. a chain. Hey, he's hey, got hey. a chain. He's showing up to everybody, and he's wrapping around that fist. This ain't right. Now, the referee's not seeing this. Knight's not seeing this either. And he gets Wait nailed. a minute. He gets nailed by it. The referee does no. not see this. And he, oh, he's going to make the cover. One, two. Three. No. There you go. Eric, I'm going to do something about this. That ain't right. I don't like that guy, and that ain't, I'm doing something about this. Uh, mm -hmm. Now, right now, your winner is Travis Ray. Harker Dirge has left the booth. Harker
after Durgis left the booth, we saw very clearly that Travis Rear went to his boots and picked up that chain. And Durgis made his way to the ring. Durgis made his way to the ring. And he's telling referee, he's telling the referee about this. The referee didn't see it. The crowd is telling him, says, no, 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 I did not do that. Knight is still down. And the dirge. And there it is. There's that chain. There's that chain. And he's reversed it. Dirge has come down and taken the chain away from Travis Blair. And now chases him out of the ring. So Sam Knight gets the win on reverse decision. Here in the main event of UWC Online. Well, Harker Dirk wasn't about to stand for that. He's seen Travis Weir take away a lot of things. In fact, took away the UWC Championship from him. And you can see on this replay where Weir nails him with the chain. Dirk comes down, makes the save, and Sam Knight gets the win over Travis Weir. And there you see that chain. No, no, no. Parker Dirge. That's going to be it for this episode of UWC Online, folks. Come on up next. Next edition of UWC Online. We are going to have a lethal lottery for you. Stay tuned. Next episode of UWC Online. For Harker Dirge, for all the guys in the back, I'm Eric Loy. We'll see you next time at UWC Online.